Back now with Brian and Bruce. Gentlemen, Austin Matthews now needs eight goals within the next eight games to reach 70. Pretty obvious, though, what the Leafs are trying to do. They're doing everything to get on the puck. Guys on breakaway stopping and going, hey, where's Austin? Maybe I can get Austin here. Bruce, could the Matthews quest for 70 become a distraction for the Leafs down this very important stretch for them? If you're asking me, I don't think so. I mean, the only time it would be a distraction is if the Leafs can't go up and they can't go down and they've got nothing to play for, then they say, okay, let's let's see if we can't get Austin 70. But I think they're playing uh, some of their better hockey right now. I mean, if they could hold the leads in the third period, I, I think they'd be, you, you could easily say, man, they're playing really good without M Mitch Marner, without whoever else is injured on defense. So, I mean, no, I don't think at all that they're trying to overplay Austin Matthews uh, or, like, I mean, he played less than, I think he played 18 minutes and 20 seconds last night which is, I think, what the Leafs have to do. They're not playing any forwards over 20 minutes, and they're getting uh, into playoff uh, form right now, and I think they're playing as good as, as they've played all year. So, I mean, uh, are they searching for Austin Matthews? Uh, no, because he's always around the puck. When he's on the ice and he's on, he's... He's going to be near the puck, so I don't think anything is different. And now I know Ty Domi, or Ty Domi, Max, uh, Max Domi, <laughs> looked behind him uh, to see if that was uh, Matthews coming to maybe pass it to him, but I think that was just that, that he was looking to see if there was a teammate. I don't think if it was, he was looking to see if it was Matthews directly behind him. All right, Coach. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I'd like to ask back, back to that specific question. Here's what I want to ask you. Hazer, you follow the Leafs on a daily basis for your show. I get that. I understand that. You're watching this. The celebrations that Austin Matthews is going through, I know they're huge celebrations because it's 59, 60, 61, now 62. Is there anything about these celebrations that makes you think maybe Austin Matthews at this point is thinking a little bit more about me as opposed to the whole? No, absolutely not. Because of what Bruce just said, this guy racks up seven, eight, nine shots on goal every single night, 12, 13, 14 attempts. He does that in his sleep, Gino. Preseason, early in the season, middle of the season, end of the season, soon to be in the playoffs as well. This guy, last night, Brody puts that on a tee for him. What's he supposed to do? Not score? Right? It's an empty netter. Should he not score? Should he ice the puck, flip it out so he proves he's thinking about the playoffs? This guy's the best goal scorer in the world. End of discussion. It's been declared for quite some time. And I think when he hit 60, that was a legacy play. Right? That made, meant he did it twice in his career. Only nine players to ever do it. He did something Alex Ovechkin has never done. I think when he gets to 66, which he will, that will pass Alex Ovechkin. Those are legacy plays. I'm going to expect, and I think we all should. So at 66, he's be they stop playing about 70? I, I think so. I'm not sure 70 matters until the last game or two of the season. The only thing I will say is that's Florida and Tampa. They play to wrap up their year in Florida, in Tampa. But between now and the final two games of the season, I don't think it matters. He's just playing his game. Bruce just said it. He's not playing 24, 25 minutes a night. He's not getting double shifted in blowout games. He's a pure goal scorer that's going to score every single night because of the way he plays. When he scored 60, that was a legacy play. When he scored 61, he's writing, rewriting his own book. He owns every single record in Maple Leaf history. 61, 62, 63. He's already done it. He passed Vive a couple of years ago. He doesn't worry about that anymore. I don't think the Leafs are worried about that. And I think Austin Matthews is well aware his legacy really skyrockets if and when he scores and wins in the playoffs. That's where his focus is. Offense only comes at the expense of defense. Matthews and the Leafs are 17-6-1 in the last 24. They're the highest scoring team in the league over that stretch. But they are also just 11th defensively. So there's a price to be paid when you're thinking offense.